Hey learners, after watching Ziggy Lotta's video on the pull hammer problem, I thought I would make a similar video using my experience as a competitive Chivalry 2 player. Today, we'll be talking about what I would like to call the quarterstaff conundrum. Ever since its addition, I've wanted to make a video on the quarterstaff and how to best utilize the weapon in competitive environments, but then I realized, I'm not qualified. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm trash. Sure. I'm well versed with pretty much all weapons because I have a solid understanding of the game and its combat system, but I've never used the quarterstaff in a competitive match or a tournament. So I went on to the next best thing, collaborating with another competitive player that has more experience with the quarterstaff than I do. But after some asking around, that doesn't exist. Not a single player in the competitive community uses quarterstaff at the competitive level. Every weapon has at least one fanboy, so what gives? Well, ever since its addition in the Thaic Stronghold Update 2.7 Winter War, the competitive community has totally banned this weapon from all matches and tournaments. But why? Well, it's complicated. Firstly, the quarterstaff in general is a weapon with extremely difficult to read animations. This makes it unenjoyable to fight for the vast majority of the competitive community, who are already turned off from the last weapon edition, the Katars. The quarterstaff merely validated their opinions that new weapons being hyper-niche Frankenstein experiments don't belong in competitive play. This sentiment would later be contradicted by the addition of the heavy cavalry sword, but at the time, new weapon hate was at its peak. Not only this, but the quarterstaff had problems. As early as the first Thaic Stronghold playtest, the quarterstaff's special attack was heavily desynced from its animation. This basically meant that the visual animation did not align with when the weapon actually hits you. This meant that it was extremely difficult to react to the attack properly. The developers were informed on this bug during the playtest, but unfortunately wouldn't be able to patch it out before the update went live. This gave the competitive community the validation they needed to fully ban this weapon from all tournaments and matches. And why not, right? The weapon isn't fun to fight, and it has an outright broken attack. Good riddance. Well, fast forward to the next update, 2.8 Raiding Party, and the quarterstaff has since been nerfed into the ground and had its special attack desync fixed. But that's the thing, the competitive community is entirely disinterested in unbanning this weapon. Due to it being banned for half a year ever since it was born, no competitive players bothered to practice using the weapon, and nobody has come to appreciate it. It also doesn't help that the weapon is only on the Crusader subclass, meaning it has to compete with Messer, one of the best weapons in the game. There's just not a lot of reason for people to care. And so, this leads us to the quarterstaff conundrum. This is a mediocre, underutilized weapon that has had all of its issues worked out, yet it's still banned in any and all competitive instances. I would propose a solution to this problem, but then again, does the competitive community even want that? As a collective, they've essentially rejected the weapon as a whole. Nobody uses it, nobody wants to learn it, and it continues to fade into obscurity. The only thing that could be done is for more competitive players to start practicing with the weapon and actually lobbying to have the weapon unbanned in scrims, pickup games, and other competitive casual practice type environments. This would somehow normalize its presence by exposing the quarterstaff to competitive play, and in turn, hopefully lead to the weapon being unbanned. I think that the weapon balance in Chivalry 2 is good, but there are still a few outliers left like the Katars, Cudgel, and Quarterstaff. It would be a shame for these weapons to have a 0% pick rate forever, and so I hope the competitive community one day sees how much Torn Banner has developed this weapon into a fairly inoffensive choice. That's all for today. I hear someone behind me. I missed. That's unfortunate. But then I realized, I'm not qualified. 